Right, fillers, I've got a super clear, awesome um, Easter egg boss fight guide for you now. I'm not going to rush it, I'm going to show you each step, each second of my footage, I'm going to talk along with you. So once you've got the Seal of Duality off the campfire for the last time, after hearing that long story, you can now get ready for the boss fight. So you can't pack a punch any weapons. Um, like I've said in earlier guides that you've got to pack a punch before you do the Hermit Lockdown Easter Egg step. That is when you want to get all your weapons set for the boss fight. So for me, you want to be getting the Thunder Gun pack a punched and your secondary weapon, I've got a Spitfire that's been pack a punched but I never really use that in the boss fight. I'm just going to be using the Thunder Gun pack a punched. I've got all my perks. And make sure you've got PhD Flopper on because with the Thunder Gun there's going to be some epic splashback. And um, what else do you want? You want a full shield before you start the boss fight. You want your um, Samantha Bombs fully on free. And you want full ammo. And also, the Gobble Gums are going to help out a lot. I've got me Nuke ones. I've got me Insta-Kill ones. I've got me Max Ammo, which helped. And me Undead Man Walking saved my life towards the end of the boss fight. So if you can get any of them on before you start the game of any Easter Egg run, get them on. Right, so now you want to come to this flopper that takes you to Golden Pack-A-Punch. And... Once you get over here, you're going to put the Seal of Duality inside the Pack-A-Punch. So like I said, I'm going to show you each second of what I'm doing. It's going to be a long video, but at least it's not a rush guide and you can know what's going on. So now you've put the Seal into the Pack-A-Punch. You want to run around the area, make a massive circle and let the horde of zombies come up behind you. So the Seal of Duality is going to act as a soul box. And when you're ready, you want to throw a Samantha Bomb or shoot any of your weapons at the zombies. And what I'm doing here, Samantha Bomb will kill the whole horde of zombies. This is unreal as this. Take them all into air. Boom. So once you've killed enough zombies, you're going to see the Seal come out of the Pack-A-Punch and go into the air. This is when the boss fight starts. There's no massive boss to defeat. You've basically got to stay inside this dome. You can see the outer layers of it now, so as soon as a dome starts to spawn in, you want to go onto that flopper that's under the snow that flops you back to the main map. So once you get here, you're going to stay in this dome. If you go outside the dome, it's going to hurt you and damage you. You don't want that. So what you want to do now is just kill off some zombies and stay inside the dome. I've got my Spitfire out, a nuke spawned there which helped me massively. You don't want to use any of your gobble gums yet. For me, I've saved all four. Keep on following this dome. And when the dome gets to this area of the main deck, you want to follow it down the stairs. Get your funnel gun out and kill any enemies. So now the dome has landed on the main deck and it's going to stop. And it's going to act as a soul box. So all you do is kill some zombies. So I've thrown out a Samantha bomb. I'm shooting me epic funnel gun. And um, I'm just running around this deck here. Taking them all out. It might take about 20 zombies, maybe a bit more. It's going to be quite tight as well, but your shield's going to help out. And when the massive flash goes, you've done that, you can get your max ammo, and the dome will keep on moving. So now you want to follow the dome. I've just took a kill drive there, insta-kill, just to help me get down this tight stairs. You want to go down here into the cargo hold, jump onto the blocks that spawn in the lava. You don't want to stand on the lava, or it's going to absolutely deck you. Um... I've turned around there, got me insta-kill out, so it's helping me a bit easier as that. Killing some zombies with me insta-kill, me spitfire, so I'm saving me thunder gun ammo. I'm running up the side to not go on the lava. Insta-kill's about to go, so I've pulled out me thunder gun and taken some noobs out. So now I'm just dodging all the lava. I've thrown another Samantha bomb here just to keep the zombies away. There's going to be a lot in this area, so shoot your thunder gun, spam it. And if you're ready, your specialist weapon should be done. So you can get that out for this bit. And you can take some zombies out and jump on the lava blocks. And you're going to make it to where this uh, perk machine is. So try use all the space of the dome. You don't have to stay right in the middle. Use all the space. And it's going to start moving towards this drop down rock. And this is where it's going to stop for another soul box. So keep on killing some zombies. I was quite lucky getting an insta kill power up there which helped out a lot. So now when the uh, when the Apothecum Blood reaches this wall by here, down at the bottom of the lighthouse, it's going to act as a soul box. So use all the dome uh, space and kill all the zombies. Throw a Samantha bomb. Use all your ammo on your thunder gun because you're definitely going to get a max ammo. And when it flashes, you can go get your max ammo. And it's going to start to move again. 
This time it's going to go down here, so jump on the lava blocks. You want to throw some amphibomb bomb as soon as I get over these lava blocks. Jump on this lava block, throw another one, it's just making it a bit easier. I've jumped over here to the hidden path, I've thrown another one where I'm going to jump down. Jump onto the lava block and um, get your thunder gun out, or you can get your specialist weapon out, whatever. And you want to definitely make it to the beach. So now you're going to kill some zombies, get your thunder gun out, and... Um, yeah, you just got to follow this dome, and it's going to stop is this uh, dome when it reaches the middle of the beach. And now you want to get your specialist weapon out, because that's just the easiest and safest way to get kills and not get down. The katana's unreal, absolutely loving life right now. I actually don't think it stops on this bit, it keeps on going to the lighthouse and it stops, so... As you can see, I got Dying Wish on, which saved my life there. So if you get anywhere close to death, I've spawned in me nuke power up gobble gum that's gonna get me some time to get my health back up and you're gonna follow the dome up to the lighthouse approach and it's gonna stop at the lighthouse basically where you go up the stairs to the lighthouse and this is a very tough place to hoard up so again i'm using the whole area the whole space of the dome i'm going to use my thunder gun whenever i see anyone reload rapidly when there's no one i'm gonna shoot i'm just gonna keep on spamming because i know i'm gonna get a max ammo in the next 20 30 seconds so i'm spamming me thunder gun on the ground and yeah just move from the uh stairs all the way back to the other stairs just keep on going forward and backwards that's what i did here and boom the massive white flash went off and this is where it gets tough so i've got a max ammo i'm gonna throw some amphibomb bomb just to just to be safe i don't know if it was needed but now the dome's gonna go to the top of the lighthouse and basically you're gonna need to take the zip line at the correct time of when the dome goes towards the factory so it's pretty tough is this you've got to time it right but i'm going to stay in the lighthouse top of it until the dome starts to move here we go it's hurting me so now i'm going to follow the dome to the zip line shooting some zombies got my thunder gun out and then i'm going to get on the zip line try time it right i've kind of timed it a bit too early i've gone a bit too early try time it spot on but you can see it's taking a bit of damage off me get your thunder gun out and the dome will come over to the factory so now it's going to get a bit tough as well you want to get your thunder gun out and just keep on killing zombies really there's, there's going to be loads in here it's very tight in here use all the space of the dome and i've done a little circle in that security lobby area then i've came down to the decontamination room and you want to go all the way to this back wall it, it seemed to work for me the dome went all the way to the perk and i was just doing a, a nice circle around here killing some zombies with the thunder gun and when it starts to move towards the human infusion you want to follow it and now you're getting pretty close to the end of the boss fight so i think i pull out a max ammo here because i'm nearly out on my thunder gun I don't think I needed to though because there's a max ammo already down here. But if you've got a max ammo, you may as well get it out. And this is where I spam my thunder gun. And this is the last part of the boss fight. So I've got my katana out. And you're not going to be moving anywhere else in this boss fight until you finish it. So the dome's going to be in the human infusion area. And it's going to start getting smaller and smaller. So this is why I've got my katana out. Getting a few kills first and it's much easier to get the kills. And then you'll have some epic music going on, which is awesome. And then I've got my thunder gun out now. And it's going to start getting smaller as the dome. I've got me undead man walking on, which has helped me so much to complete this boss fight. Basically, it just makes all the zombies to walking speed. So it's absolutely easy. I've just paused it there because I was like, oh my god, I'm going to do the easter egg. Right, I'm back in, I'm back in. So I've got my thunder gun. I'm just absolutely spamming that because I know... Um, that I'm, I think I knew from this point I was going to do it. But you can see the dome's getting a bit smaller and smaller. I've got halfway left on my undead man walk. And I think it lasts for about a minute I think. So 30 seconds has gone. And um, yeah I'm spamming my thunder gun really. I'm not letting any zombies get anywhere close to me. And it's going to be another maybe 10-20 seconds in this small circle. Until you boss the boss fight. So keep on spamming your thunder gun. Try and not spam it as much now. Because you might need to save it. Boom! When the white flash goes, fellas, you've bossed it. There's going to be no more zombies spawning in. And, yeah, you need to just listen to this long story. Look at this red uh, red orb for about a minute or so. Listen to the long story. And then all you do is pick up this red orb. 
And now we just come outside and you can see the whole map is red and looking so cool. So now you want to take the zip line down to the sun deck. Again, watch out for the lava on certain floors that can kill you. There's going to be no zombies, but make your way up to this flinger that's going to fling you to the top of the lighthouse. Go to the lighthouse, go to the top of it, and give that red orb, the seal of duality, or whatever you call it, to Hermit. And then he's going to talk for ages. And then now you want to make your way to the... Uh, I think it's the sun deck. It is the sun deck. You want to make your way to the second power switch, the top of the boat, the top of the ship. And when you come in here, um, it's going to start talking. And then you want to look at the top of the lighthouse. You're going to see some awesome effects. A massive, like, hurricane or summer hole in the sky. It's like the day after tomorrow, but absolutely lit, isn't it? And then you're going to watch that. And then when that disappears, you're going to see this little yellow thing fly from the top of the clouds and go to the back of the ship at the forecastle. So that's when you can go all the way to the back of the ship and you can pick up this device which you've been searching for the whole goddamn game. And once you press square on this, you've bossed the boss fight and it's going to be an epic cutscene that you can interact with. I won't show that because it's going to make the video about an hour long, but I'll put that in a separate video. So yeah, I hope this has helped. Um, it's better than seeing a guy that's two minutes long showing you what to do. Like blah, blah, blah. So if you want to go see the cutscene, go check it out. And go check out all the other guides, the Easter egg guides on how to do this. I've made it really clear. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.